sense, we'll just go over the tables and um, introductions, just see who you are. Um, at the moment there's about 65, 70 walking football sessions that happen every week right across Scotland, um, run by leisure trusts, football clubs, councils etc. And some of them are just groups of guys getting together on an ad hoc basis and playing walking football. So it's very, very grassroots, very community led. I think it's maybe race rovers or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> me and this 60-year-old guy were rolling in the ground. <laughs> 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 Good game up, back to me. Sorry. <laughs> 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 we encourage people to walk as a society. We don't walk enough. It's, it's free. You know, for, for some people, asking them to walk, they wouldn't do it. But if you ask them to play walking football, they do it. So in terms of their step count, um, it helps them. Um, but weight, weight loss as well. Um, and from that hopefully they'll, they'll look at their diet and then also hopefully the idea would be then they also do some other health activity out with the walking football, maybe go more walking during the week as well with, with family and friends and, and, and their colleagues and certainly there are a few case studies where people playing walking football that in itself is signposted them to other activity within the area. the general fit, fitness aspect of it all. Um, I, I mean, I've had a couple of heart attacks, I've got seven stents uh, in my heart, so uh, the fitness thing does matter to me. Hi, I'm Gary McLaughlin. Uh, I am a photographer, professional photographer. I worked in newspapers for 30, years. Um, I was 10 years in commercial industrial photography. I had problems with my heart and my good lady wife had said that uh, I had her permission to retire uh, and try and get myself fit and concentrate on my health. And that's when I was introduced to walking football uh, through the Air United Football Academy. I uh, took up walking football um, and it was great to go back and play football again. No, I didn't cross. He got that one. I got that one. <laughs> Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower. You play to what there is there at the time, so it's a it's a thing that changes with different games. Um, anyone who goes there, whether they're slower, whether they're faster, they get something out of it. And the only thing I can say is there's a guy 70 odds that plays most weeks with us who is as fit as me, <laughs> does it as well, gets everything out of it. It's for everyone. The honest men. <laughs> That was a coach. Pass that ball. No, Myself, it was heart, um, but there's guys with hips, knees, ankle operations that, that are back playing walking football. Um, I transgress, but these guys will be the same at the Scottish Walking Football Network. Uh, it's now been held, it's been in Glasgow, it's now held in Stirling, um, just to make it easier for people from throughout Scotland to get there. So it's becoming a Scottish network. A lot of people playing football, a lot of guys there, as I say, like-minded. Um, and they only want to care about being socially um, involved and just to get active again. I three, three pages down you want. The one of the goals you kicked in, you've kicked in as one underage player. Mm. Did. Yes, it was good. I did, certainly. That I'm, was, I'm only new to um, August. Uh, to us, that, that, was, that was a no-no. To be fair, though, you guys brought, what's his name? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 two. I, uh, walking football came under my arena um, just about August time this year. Um, from our point of view, from my point of view is how, how can I expand walking football across Glasgow? Um, keen today to find out um, good practice from other, other places, other areas. We are also looking at how we can form links with our kids' participation programmes to, to work with fathers or grandfathers, etc. Um, and also form links with um, the 
kind of health services that we can provide as well from our Live Active Health team as well to see how we can look at a link from there and the people working for what we can do. Well, again, we're at early days. Matt is a good guy, actually, nice guy, um, and committed, committed to it. So Glasgow Life will run the Scottish, we'll call it the Scottish Championship this year. It was held in Spartans the last couple of years. Um, so Glasgow are taking over, so Matt is really going to be running that. Um, and he's got walking football centres in Glasgow. So again, the fitness, um, the social aspects and the, the fitness aspects obviously appeal to lots of local authorities, the NHS down here, and here, well, all over really. Um, because it is, it's getting us guys, old guys out, being active. So, yeah, and Matt's one of the pioneers of that in Glasgow, and I think doing a good job. I think one of the big things the, the guys in Scotland certainly are looking for is to try and form up some sort of kind of team together that we're all working together with it. Um, if it's a case of that we're, there's a committee or a kind of a board with that part, they will look at what events that we can have, what tournaments are run throughout the year, but mainly to kind of focus on just keeping things moving for walking football to progress in Scotland. We're delighted that we'll be hosting the, the Walking Football National Festival here at Glasgow Green on uh, Saturday 25th of June. Um, last year at the, the Spartans tournament there was, there was about 24 teams there so we're hoping that we can hopefully add to that as well and make this quite a, an exciting event for, for Glasgow um, and that hopefully for Nationwide it'll be quite an important one and an exciting one for us as well. Our main rivals at Ayr would be the Heart of Midlothian Club um, and we have um, bitter, <laughs> bitter struggles against them. They, I have to say, uh, in fact, I don't think we've ever beaten them, we've drawn with them and things. They tend to beat us in penalties, they tend not to beat us. So yeah, that's our arch rivals, our nemesis. So it was lovely. The, the guys there had asked um, if I would cheer. Um, part of it, I think, is, is commitment, um, and I'm committed to it, and I want to see it progress. Whether I lead it, somebody will do it, I don't know. There was just too many things, and you know, things at home. I've got two children, one I started late. I'm a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old. Um, still doing a wee bit of freelancing. Uh, yeah, just, uh, it, it was sprung on me sort of out the blue and thought about it, talked about it. So maybe if it happens the next time we speak, if they ask again, I wouldn't be do it. Gary's a born leader. Gary likes to take charge of things. So it was hardly surprising in some respects. My concern genuinely was a concern. He'll probably say it wasn't, but my concern was that I didn't want him to become totally absorbed in something and committed to something in the way that he had been at work. And I know the stress and anxiety and pressure that put him under. And although this is for fun, I think in any organisation like this where lots of people get involved, committees get involved, grant applications and so forth, layer upon layer of stress can come in. So I was a wee bit ca cautious of it. Um, that said, Gary being Gary will do what Gary wants to do, but I did feel that perhaps he should focus on the benefits of playing the sport as opposed to starting to organise it. However, I can understand he is the type of person that wants to get involved in that sort of thing. And I suppose it, it's, it's a mark of Gary that he's been to these sort of meetings and they look at him, um, and I think it was quite interesting, I think it was like hearts that put him forward for it and he's obviously with air, which goes to show that the man is very smarmy and can get across to all different types of people. He should get a job with the UN.
Gary has specific health issues. Um, he has initially needed some advice just building up general exercise tolerance. And with that comes lots of frustrations because very often we can over push ourselves and then we have to take a, a step back or we are set back. Um, the benefits of the walking football is that um, it's very motivational. And for Gary, it's quite sociable. Um, so he really enjoys going. And he has very much seen his progress over the period of time that he's now been using it. So initially he wasn't fit enough to do walking football, but he got to the point where he could start to access more kind of um, community activities, which follows on from physio rehab. So it's more about integration back into activities in the community. Um, and walking football has just been fabulous for Gary because it's his first love and um, he just gets so much from it. The benefits are huge to everyone and anyone, but me personally, um, after the, well, I've had two heart attacks. Um, I've now got a total of seven stents in my heart and breathlessness and, you know, was shocking. I mean, it's, at one point I couldn't walk up the stairs in the house. We put the stents in and that cleared that, but then my overall fitness I was just a bit non-existent. Um, even affected my balance. I mean, silly things. Um, but now after the walk in football, my breathing has improved greatly. The strength in my legs, I mean, honestly, is just night and day. You, you, I feel the difference, the benefits. <laughs> Gary talks to me about how he finds himself getting a bit too fast. The pace becomes too fast and they almost have to pull it in a bit just to allow um, the majority of, of um, those involved to keep up with the pace. We're at the, the start of something here. We're well, okay, a few years into it. But I mean, it's huge and I mean, NHS, we all talk about the NHS and the funding and the overstretching and how things are bad there at the moment. But there's a fair amount of guys out now and not just in Scotland, um, but we're all out. We're playing walking football. We're getting stronger. We're getting fitter. Um, we're not going to the NHS as much. We're not going to the doctors as much. Uh, we are feeling better within ourselves. So the NHS, I think, realise that. So they're putting funding into it and, and looking into it. So I think if there's research out there to be done, um, people like Ailey, um, I think it's, it's great. I know that they were doing a pilot project. We started this research about six months ago when we just became quite interested in walking football having heard about some participants in it and from their experiences it sounded like it was taking off in this country but perhaps not very much had been done in terms of actual research into the impact of it, the health implications of it and that kind of thing. So myself and a colleague dr rosie arthur we were quite interested in this and we decided to follow it up spoke to pass for all who were very interested in uh, developing this sport and had been quite um, involved in the early stages of it and through a series of conversations we decided that we would do some research with them so many of the participants and um, one in particular who um, had suffered from mental health issues in the past and he said it felt him it made him quite isolated with these mental health issues that he's been suffering from so this because it was in the evening because it was once a week because it was free for him as well because he doesn't work because of his his own health problems um, all of this has allowed him to to have something to look forward to every week that's what he said to us he said um, it's given me something to look forward to it's given me a spark back Sun was in my eyes. 
<laughs> I had a chance conversation with David Watson from Air United Football Academy who said, get Gary to come along. I said to Gary and he told me, are you off your head? I'm not taking up football. Look on the Air United website, the Air United Football Academy website, um, come along. There's evenings, during the days, different days. So people can go online and have a look and see what we do. There's other folks in other areas doing it. But, you know, come to us if we can't help them. We'll put them in touch with somebody that can. It became very obvious very early on that walking football wouldn't just be about playing football, but it was more about getting other people involved. Good bunch of guys. Yeah, so, Air United Football Academy, look on the website, uh, come and give it a go. And, and I could guarantee they'll come again.